Hello everyone, this is Amit Dhan of AmitDhan.com. Today I will have another episode of Life in Toronto in COVID-19 shutdown video. And I'm taking you to the heart of downtown Toronto using public transit. The first public public transit I'll be using is the streetcar. And we'll take a streetcar in front of, from in front of my condo to Union Station. So I'm boarding the streetcar right now. And you'll see that uh, inside the streetcar uh, is totally empty. Uh, there is no, not many people. I've probably one or two people I saw. And it's hard to see a streetcar, especially a Toronto streetcar, this kind of uh, empty. If you look on the street and at the gas station, you'll see that uh, not not many people and the cars on the street, uh, not many cars. But uh, this time on Saturday, usually uh, there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people on the street. But today you can see that you know it's uh, very empty. And uh, at the harbor front, uh, not many people are jogging or walking around. But uh, this time, usually you know this place is really crowded and lots of people. Lots of tourists and uh, other people uh, hang around at this area. It's a beautiful uh, sunny day, uh, the cold or the temperature is not too cold, it's uh, around minus two, minus three in that range, which uh, is a uh, you know, very good uh, weather for Torontonians, but still you can see that you know, not many people are coming out to enjoy the sun and the weather. weather. So right now uh, I just hit uh, Union Station and uh, this is not the Union Station you have seen. Or this is not the Union Station I have seen uh, any time before. So you can see that it's totally empty. It looks like a ghost station. Uh, there's not no people. Uh, I think the gentleman in front of me is the only people I saw. And this is really scary that you know there's no one at the Union Station, which is the station hub of Toronto. Here you can take you know many various trains to different locations, different regions, so the hub of Toronto is empty. So we're boarding uh, on a train, uh, subway, and uh, you can see that you know the subway is empty as well. Uh, there's no people and uh, it's uh, all the seats are empty, no one is standing, no one is sitting. You will, once in a while, you come across uh, you know one or two people. So this is not, uh, you know, what Toronto looks like or what uh, a subway Early looks like uh, Queen, this time. Queen Station. Doors will open on the right. So I'm going to be getting off at uh, Queen Station and then uh, from there I'll go up uh, to the heart of downtown Toronto and uh, we'll head towards uh, Dundas Square, which usually is very busy all the time uh, that's where you know uh, you'll see lots of Torontonians and people hanging out or you know having street food or shopping walking so we'll see how Dundas Square looks like today as you can see that you know I'm getting out of uh, the Queen Station uh, and then uh, there's no one here and it's really uh, empty so most of you probably haven't seen uh, Queen Street Station this way before
So the whole concourse level is empty. Uh, there's no one here. Uh, the stores are closed, and I haven't seen. I, I don't see any other person except uh, one or a couple of other people. So we're gonna get off this building, and then we'll be in the middle of uh, downtown Toronto. And let's see, you know, how it looks like uh, today at this time. So this is the heart of uh, downtown Toronto, and it's around about. Uh, two three o'clock and you can see that you know the streets are very empty the roads are empty uh, that this place is crowded at this time uh, or anytime you come here even if you come here at two three o'clock at night it's crowded lots of people on the street but uh, as you can see that today uh, there's uh, no people no cars the cars you're seeing once in a while that's nothing comparing to what it would have been if you know there's no COVID-19 or there's no uh, fear uh, of uh, you know uh, catching something uh, from the environment so i'm just uh, walking towards dundas square and if you uh, notice on the left or right you'll see that all the stores are empty and the street uh, the street is empty so uh, this is not the usual picture of uh, downtown toronto especially this is the heart of uh, downtown toronto and uh, after a few minutes uh, i'll be hitting the Dundas Square and then we'll see how things are you know there so here I'm uh, showing you some of the stores especially uh, big stores uh, on the left and on the right and you can see that you know all the stores are empty uh, some people are walking on the street but not uh, a lot of people So I'm passing uh, Burger King, McDonald's, Tim Hortons. Um, the Tim Hortons I saw in downtown, actually it was closed, but uh, some Tim Hortons are open and some of them are closed. But those restaurants or you know, coffee shops or cafes which are open, you cannot sit there. You have to just you know, grab your coffee or your food and you have to leave. So it's just you know, take out or delivery, so you're not allowed to sit anywhere. And even you wanted to, if you wanted to sit, you couldn't sit because you know they uh, flipped the chairs and tables, so no one can sit. I just reached uh, Dundas Square and you can see that you know this is really empty uh, there is no one here you might ask uh, why it's empty because you can see some people in some cars bar, but you know if you compare this to any uh, regular day or average day this is not what it looks like uh, this place is like you know so crowded and so noisy because people are talking having fun you know eating out uh, shopping uh, but you know comparing every day uh, every other day uh, what I'm seeing today is hard to believe. Uh, you just cannot believe that you know this is the in the middle of uh, downtown Toronto, in the heart of downtown Toronto, and this is what it looks like you know, right now. So basically, it's very empty and very scary that you know no one is here. Father, we don't know all the reasons why things happen the way they do, but we pray. However, I found some uh, people who are preaching uh, religion, and uh, you can hear them. Uh, uh, I guess they were just like, you know, uh, everyone is talking about uh, this COVID-19. Uh, 
and some people are just you know using to uh, attract more people uh, towards uh, religion and uh, the news media and other uh, news channel have something to talk about 24 hour uh, because of the outbreak Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing to this channel. Forget about liking this video. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.